Hello. In this read aloud, Dahlia, my second grader, will be reading you a book entitled Flamingo. As she reads the book, I want you to think about how this book connects to our lives now. What is it in our lives that has changed? How did this coronavirus impact our lives? What did we lose? What did we gain? How are we adapting and what are we doing about it? Flamingo by Kim Carabels and Maria Tomo. Flamingo misses his leg and his leg misses him. Sometimes it tickles, sometimes it aches. There, where there is nothing left to scratch. He, his leg is playing hide and seek with him. It has already won. Quietly, he peeps through his feathers. His leg is gone, never to be seen again. Now, as Dahlia continues reading, I want you to think about how Flamingo connects to our lives. What did we miss in our lives nowadays? And what are we doing about it? Flamingo misses the olden days, when he still had his leg. Ribbons, medals and awards color the inside of his neck. He used to wear the 50 meter flying fast proudly in his chest. He won the 100 meter walking on stilts with his eyes closed. He came first in the crab catching championship and broke, and broke all of the air relay records. He's a hero, shouted the heron. A high flyer, echoed the penguin. A lucky bird, Dodo agreed. Flamingo was always on the front page, but when the dream, like an egg, cracked, everything went so very quiet. Now let's stop and think. How does Flamingo feel? A flamingo fell out of the sky and his leg was lost. Flamingo now rests on one leg. He shouts, ready or not, here I come. Dodo? Heron? Penguin, perhaps? Where have they all gone? There is a ripple in the water. A millipede floats past. He gently moves his 500 hands and his 500 feet. What are you doing, Flamingo? I am paddling on one leg. The millipede smirks and gives him 500 thumbs up. Good to see you. Can still crack a joke, he says. That means there is still hope. Don't worry, he says. You will find your feet. Oh, I'm sorry, your foot. Flamingo wobbles. His beak quivers. He wants to get away from this mean millipede. He flaps his wings, but he cannot take off. Relax, says the millipede. Take your time. We do it step by step, one foot, then the next. Flamingo turns an ever darker pink. He stutters, he can hardly speak. But then he blurts out, you, you, you better help me. The millipede gives him a dazzling smile. That is exactly why I'm, I'm here, he says. But first I have to tie my laces of my 250 pairs of shoes. But it is nearly dark, whimpers Flamingo. The millipede looks up, flutters his eyelids and says... Yes, you're right, Flamingo. Very dark indeed, and cold too. His 500 hands start knitting. 500 tiny needles go click, click. I'm qui quickly going to make some leg warmers, the millipede says. 500 will do, and well, one for you too. I will sort myself, Flamingo yells. And suddenly he takes off and flies high into the sky. 
The millipede is delighted. He claps his five hundred hands. You finally understood, he smiles. One does not need legs to dream. Time flies, and so does Flamingo. He trains non-stop. He learns how to fly fast, walk on stilts, and hopscotch on one leg. He colors the sky pink as a new day is dawning. Who is that? Dodo asks when he opens his eyes that morning. It's Flamingo. The millipede smiles. Who is that? The heron wonders. It's Flamingo, the millipede replies. But that is impossible, says Penguin. He misses a leg. The millipede points his five hundred fingers at them and scolds. He misses all of you most of all. The heron, Dodo, and Penguin blush. They start cheering. Flamingo, flamingo, go, go, go! Flamingo misses his leg a little less every day, and even when it itches and scratching doesn't help, he lets himself fall down from the sky because Flamingo knows he lands softly on a bed of feathers and friends. Hello, I'm Kim Krabels. I'm a Belgian children's book writer, um, and I always try to write a. Uh, Funny stories, but uh, funny stories that are also a little bit uh, sensitive. Why did you write the book? You? Well, actually, a real hero asked me to write it. Uh, his name is Mark Hermans. He's a, a, an athlete. And um, he had really bad luck. Just like the flamingo in my book, um, he fell off his bike and now uh, and since then, he was not able to uh, to run and to cycle again uh, because now he's in a wheelchair, wheelchair. But still, he stayed very positive, and he wanted to um, inspire children and also grown-ups with his story. So he asked me to write his story down in a children's book. But I thought maybe children are more interested in in reading about a pink flamingo than about uh, a guy named Mark. So this pink flamingo is actually uh, Mark uh, in disguise. What did you feel when you wrote this book? Well, actually, I thought it was a very difficult story to write, although it's quite a, a short text. It's only a, a, a pictures book, but uh, it took me uh, a long time because at first when I uh, was asked to write Mark's story down I was very enthusiastic and I thought of course I want to do it but then um, I started to read about the real athlete and and I was quite impressed and I thought it, it's such a difficult story to write down such a, a hard story and such a sad story and I wasn't sure how to turn uh, such a sad story in some, into something uh, positive and, and positively inspiring. Uh, so that took me quite a long time. Uh, but afterwards, when, when I uh, saw how many people were touched by the story, I was very happy that I, uh, that I said, uh, Flamingo, go, go to myself, just like the Flamingo in the story did. And that I, I wrote everything down. Yeah. Thank you, Kim, for reading this book. We really enjoyed listening to, to your, you talk. We would like to read one of your books later soon. What do you think? Thank you, Dahlia, for translating my book into such a, a beautiful English and uh, for telling your friends in Lebanon about, about this Flamingo book. And um, I'm looking forward to meet you in real life as well when this is all over.